Meow meow, it's me. In today's video, I'm going to be answering some questions that I've gotten throughout training. I honestly don't get asked a lot of questions about flying pig or running in general or any kind of thing like that. So I wasn't even sure if I should make this video, but if you are watching this vlog and you are training for a marathon or gearing up to train for a marathon i'm just trying to think of all kinds of themes for these videos to actually help an athlete out there because i had to learn as i went you know so <clears throat> the first question <laughs> <laughs> when I would share that I was training for Flying Pig Marathon in 2019 was, what is that? What is that? Do you like fly pigs? And I mean, I literally got this question a lot. Uh, I know that Flying Pig Marathon is a very fancy name it's a very eloquent name it's not something boring like boston marathon but it it's you know it has the word marathon in it like it's a marathon a marathon like you run a marathon i mean like it says marathon right like did i stutter <laughs> so i never understood why um i would get that question a lot but i guess it's like Tell me that you're a potato without telling me that you're a potato, you know? Um, like, people that think that marathon is just, like, sitting in front of the telly watching something for a long time. <laughs> no, it's, like, running. <laughs> it's a distance. So, the next question that I would get is, how long is that? 26.2 miles. Um, this next question... I got asked this a lot and um, it never really made sense why as before making this video I was thinking about this question again and I can hypothesize about some things but it's still it still kind of shocks me that I mean, people like say things all the time without thinking thoroughly. And I think this is one of the things. So I would get asked a lot. And I mean, I really got the, the asked this question by way more people than you are probably imagining. Are you going to win? Are you going to win? Do you win? Can you win? And, you know, I would share that start to finish. That is really what I'm thinking about, start to finish. I want to finish and I win by finishing it. I am not competing with anybody else. I know that it's called a race. And, you know, if you are a professional runner or someone who is competing and you're watching this, I am going to em emphasize the core theme here that you are competing with yourself you're not competing with any other runner out there this is really a the the path to success in here or in general is a competition with yourself and um, i really just want to do start to finish and that is like all my goals for flying pig um there is a king and queen flying pig for the guy who crosses the finish swine first and the girl who crosses first i don't plan on it's just in 2019 the king and queen flying pig i believe at that time it was it had been their third time in a row winning so you know it's I am not going to win. This is my first marathon ever. I was not a runner in high school. I was not a runner in college. Um, this, you know, this is like, I would share this when I first trained for Flying Pig. And I told that to someone and they were like, oh, well, 
think about it this way, those people are one year older. Like, that's still not... And somebody else asked me about the winning thing. He was like, oh, well, don't you want to be Queen Flying Pig? Of course, it would be nice. And there are different age groups. So you compete within your age group. But I think it's age groups of like between three and five years that they group you together. So you're kind of competing sort of fairly, even further in the race, not just like um, male, female. Um, I think people that ask me that either come from a sports background where, you know, there's like, you win or you don't. Uh, and the other type of person that I think asks me this is people that don't realize how, like, how much this skill can be developed. Like, I think they just see me and I'm a young girl and, uh, like, I'm training for this marathon. Like, I could totally win. No, this, I mean, breaking records, coming in, you know, first, second, third. Like, those things take so much time and skill. And that is people that, like, really, really love running. Like, I've said in another video, I don't really love running. <laughs> I like it, but I love hot yoga, but I don't, I do not love running like that. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. Um, do you stop? I plan to not stop during the race. When I run now in my long runs, I stop at the water fountains and I stop to cross the street. Do you run the whole time? Like I said, I just stop for those things. The race, I, um, there's, you know, people like handing out water, like little cups of water as you go along so you don't have to stop. I'm actually looking forward to that of the thought of I don't have to stop for the water fountain like this is literally like oh it's gonna be just so different than training you know this is a race. What changes have you seen on your body? Just lower body um your my feet feel like strong and sturdier and my ankles for sure just literally just my legs glutes the muscles um in my entire lower body section are definitely different and defined and I remember when I first the first time that I trained after a while you know, getting more appetite and eating more and stuff and I thought oh, my legs look fat and then like a few days later I think my legs just went like and they got really sculpted because <laughs> you're training so often that it, the changes that you see in your body are almost happening right before your eyes immediately. Uh, the next question, I know that it's a joke, but like, it's not funny. It's not funny. Is someone chasing you? Is a bear chasing you? Um, I think kind of like the people that ask me, are you going to win? I think this question comes more from people that have a lot of limiting beliefs about running and limiting beliefs about themselves in a sport. Uh, I know that running is not for everyone, but, you know, a lot of people will come up with any kind of excuse about why they can't run. So when you share with some people that you are training, you're they're going to be like, oh, like, I can't run because of this, 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 this. And, you know, some stuff is valid, but you have legs, right? Like, you can run. And even if you are missing a leg, you can run. Like, I've seen runners out there with, like, prosthetic stuff. And uh, yeah, like that's really inspiring. And um, yeah, I think it's, it just comes from excuses and mental barriers that some people have about why they can't run. So they can't really imagine somebody else running like that or training to this volume. What made you want to do that? This question, man, like, 
I think I've just asked. I've been asked this just once. And this question I don't get asked enough, I feel. I think it's a bucket list thing. It's just a bucket list thing. Like how some people want to visit Germany or go to Tokyo or see Paris or learn a like learn another language or um I don't know break a world break a record things like that make a song um be an artist it's just a bucket list thing that I wanted to do I in my first video I think for this vlog I did say how I I think I learned about flying pig just from looking up pictures of pig of flying pigs on the internet in high school and I saw someone's medal from flying pig and I just thought if I ever ran a marathon this is the marathon that I would run and I just kind of got small encouragement along the way like in high school my ex, my boyfriend at the time we would run or go to the gym and lift sometimes and he just made one comment one time about oh yeah I think you could totally like do a marathon like you look really focused or something and when when I trained in 2019, I felt a lot of things poked at me to, hey, like, it's time to go get this carrot. Like, hey, you gotta do this. So one of my friends moved back home. I didn't know that she was from around Cincinnati. So that was my first big thing of, oh, maybe I should start training for that. And then I would I just shared that that was going on in my mind with a few people and everybody encouraged me everybody said you should you should you totally can and it doesn't take much if you if it's in your bucket list if it's in the back of your mind or something you want to do it doesn't take a lot of um encourage well I mean it does take some encouragement but it doesn't take a lot for you to decide that you want to commit to this so yeah, those are pretty much all the running questions I've ever gotten about Flying Pig Marathon and uh, being an athlete and training. <laughs> so I will see you in my next Flying Pig vlog.